Hello everyone, just to give you the heads up that Artex have brought out a brand new set of acrylic paint markers. Um, this is a set of 24 colours and it's in addition to the set of 32 colours that they brought out um, several months ago. I've got a review on these, I love them, I think these are fantastic and I'll leave the link to the video sharing what I think of these in the description box below. The new colours are exactly the same design as the set of 32 um, but you've just got some additional colours to use. Which one shall I choose to show you? Now these are dual tip again. You've got um, a brush nib so that's what that looks like. So smooth um, and easy to use. You've also got um, a bullet nib end as well um, which I find really handy for smaller detail. Let me just show you the colours of both sets side by side. So this is the new set of 24 and with the exception of the first four here they're mainly greens blues purples and a couple of greys the only repeat colors are the black and the white which both sets have and then this is the original set um, of 32 so you've got lots more um, neutrals in this set here reds oranges pinks purples blues and then onto your greens. so that's what the colors look like side by side but both sets are beautifully opaque um, I've swatched them both onto craft cardstock and this is what they look like. So this is the new set of 24 and this is the original set of 32. And for anybody that wants to see how they perform on black, this is mixed media paper, by the way. Not so good on black, if I'm perfectly honest. And for anybody who's wondering how the whites perform, let me just test these as well. So this is the white from the original set of 32. Um, which side shall I use? Let's use the textured side of my mixed media paper. So that's the original set of 32. And this is the new set. Let's see if there's any difference in pigment between um, these. I would actually say that the original set is slightly more pigmented, which is quite surprising. I was expecting that they might have done something to make the white more pigmented. Um, so how does that compare? This is a Posca paint pen and this is my pen from ZSCM. I absolutely love these. And I, sa I would say that these are far more, more pigmented. Let's just... scribble some of these out. I think both of my pens are running out of um, ink but you get the general idea and this is the Posca. Let me try both of these. So this is the original 32. Let me try it on the fine end just so that I'm being fair here but no I don't think either of these are particularly pigmented. What do you think? Let's also do a little painting. Um, I'm going to do a Christmas painting that I can send out as a Christmas card. And just to make it easy, I'm going to choose a size that I can use with um, a shop bought envelope. This is an envelope that measures four and a half by six and a half. So I have cut myself a piece of watercolor paper. So my card front is three and a half by five and a half. And then I've cut um, what I'm going to use as a card base out of craft cardstock and that measures four by six inches so take a screenshot of that um, if you need to so those will all fit together beautifully let's paint ourselves a really basic christmas tree now i've made um, some guidelines here i've drawn a line down the center of my piece of watercolor card stock and then i've also left a gap of approximately an inch at the top and the bottom of my page and i've just drawn a triangle um, the gap either side is about um, half an half an inch yep half an inch um, so that's going to form the basic shape of my tree just to give me some guidelines to work in now I want my Christmas tree to be in green so I'm going to pull out um, a couple of different greens here maybe even this turquoisey green let's see how we get on um, with these I'm going to start off by using one of the um, olivey greens I'm going to start at the top and work my way down and just going to do my tree like this and then we can turn the page um, around and do the same going down the other the other side just being really loose and wispy about this you can add more to the to the center turn your page um, around if you find it easier to work on um, that way just getting the basic tree shape here 
pressing really lightly as well so that the lines aren't too too thick that's my basic um, tree shape then I can choose um, maybe the lighter green and I'll do the same again and I just want to build up some layers of um, different um, colors concentrating now on coming into the the center just to fill that void that's um, in the middle I've also got these two colors here and I'm not sure whether I want to use those let's have a look I'm not sure whether these are going to be a bit too too bright. I don't like how those are going to work with my with the colours that I've already got on my tree. So I'm going to stick with this darker darker green. Yep, you see, I like that. And again, I'm just going to add more colours to my tree. But doesn't that look pretty? Now these markers are more like an acrylic gouache, meaning that um, they are water reactive, um, especially whilst they're wet. They do dry semi-permanent um, once they've dried, but I'm just going to use a paintbrush now and we can activate these and fill in some of the gaps and just fill out the tree. See how this looks. But you see now the paints are starting, or the pens are starting to mingle together which is a really nice effect you don't have to do this you could have left it um, as it as it was but um, you see that's the difference between this side and, and that and I like that look and I'm just going to give this a quick blast with my heat tool let's bring in the white and just add a few highlights of course we need a basket for our tree I'm just going to draw mine in pencil to start off with just because I don't trust myself not to go too big and get carried away with um, with size so of course you know if you don't trust yourself either just draw an outline in pencil the same way that I did for the shape of my my tree And what colour shall I have that? I think I'm going to do that um, in this lovely um, red. And I'm going to leave a little bit of white as well. I'll come in with the white um, marker. giving it more of sort of like a basket um, weave. And of course those colours are mingling together as well. Yeah, I like that. And of course our tree isn't complete without um, a star on the top. I'm just going to draw this in pencil as well, just in case I'm not happy with it. And of course, I can rub out any of the lines that I don't um, I don't like. So again, um, in fact, actually, let's use the um, bullet um, end this time. And we can erase any of the lines that we we don't need. What a cute little tree. I've just added a little touch of white to the top of my tree and I think to finish it off I just want to add some gold splatters. I'm going to use my Deco Colour Premium Prime Premio pen. I'm going to give it a good shake um, and then if I can get the lid off. Oh, here we are. I'm just going to pounce it like this and then just use my bone folder just to whoops, tap on some gold splatters. I love this pen, it's the most gorgeous colour. Don't overdo it Nina, just a, just a few. Here's my finished card and as you can see I've mounted it onto the craft cardstock um, card base. I think it's um, a beautiful combination with the royal blue envelope as well. I did actually go on to make a couple more. I did this one here um, and just added stripes to the basket and this one has got a gold basket and gold um, star on the top but you know I just love them as I've said with the um, royal blue envelopes. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I used these. I absolutely love these markers. I think they're incredibly easy to use. The brushes are just so smooth. Now, if you wanted um, an acrylic marker set that is completely permanent, um, Artex do also offer a pastel set, um, which is this one here. These are slightly different. Just look at those gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Um, they're slightly more opaque on black. Well, quite a bit more opaque on black. And these, as I've said, are permanent. These only have um, the brush end, they don't have the bullet end and the brush is slightly bigger than the um, ones that I showed earlier but these are just absolutely beautiful as well. I reviewed these a few months ago and I'll leave the link to the video for you in the description box below. I also think that these sets would make wonderful Christmas presents as well and Artex have got um, a Black Friday deal that finishes on the 27th of November I do believe. Again I'll leave um, all the details of where you can purchase these from in the description box below but if you've enjoyed my video and found it helpful as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now